welcome. Um, exciting episode for me. Uh, finally got my uh, nuke of bees um, yesterday, and uh, they've been uh, bought. I bought them home about 8, 8 p.m. on the uh, in the evening, obviously, and um, they've been sat there overnight. Um, it's now approximately two o'clock ish. Uh, in the afternoon the following day and um, it's time to transfer them into the hive. Um, now I was mic'd up and um, had planned to give a running commentary through this uh, procedure. Um, obviously it's the first time I've done this and um, I forgot to speak basically. <laughs> um, I think the excitement overcame me and uh, the anticipation of what was uh, going to happen and how it was going to go. Uh, it's the first time I've handled bees myself. So, um, you know, this was all new to me. And yeah, I just did say a word. Well, I did say a word um, part of the way through. I'll uh, see if I can highlight it later on. Um, but yeah, I said uh, three words and they were, oh my God. Um, <laughs> After transferring the six frames into the uh, from the nuke into the hive, I picked the um, nuke up um, to find I don't know what seemed like 10,000 bees underneath <laughs> the, the nuke. Uh, so it took me by surprise a little bit. Um, but yeah, so so this is this is me taking out uh, my six frames. Um, and, and place them in, into the hive. Um, I must say it was uh, a very tense moment getting that first one out. Obviously, it's always um, a bit of a, a bit of a tight squeeze getting the first one out. I didn't want to roll any bees, and obviously didn't want to risk rolling the queen. Um, so as you can see, I've taken it, I've taken it out very, very slowly, and um, I have a quick quick little inspection. I, I know my arm gets in the way, I never position the camera in the best place. Um, but yeah, I mean it was a be beautiful thing to see and uh, yeah, very very pleased with what I've got. Um, I did spot the Queen. Um, I think from memory she was on the fifth frame. Um, I didn't show her to the camera. Um, I, I just sort of wanted to make sure she came out of the nuke and into the hive so I, I didn't mess around she was straight out once I spotted her she was um, placed in the hive so I know she's in there she's a 2020 queen marked blue um, yeah and I sort of obviously I had a quick scan of, of each frame I didn't go too too much into it I, I sort of want to keep things to a minimum um, as I said this was um, Wednesday afternoon, um, the 12th of, 12th of May. The weather had been really nice all morning, but it was due to come in with rain um, in the afternoon. So I was sort of leaving it as long as I could to give them time to settle and do their orientation flights and uh, get used to their surroundings before transferring them over. So um, yeah, it wasn't, uh, it's was probably only about, I don't know, hour and a half, two hours after finishing doing the transfer of the nuke that the heavens opened up and um, it's been raining ever since really. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'll let you get on and watch it. I'll, uh, I'll mute my heavy breathing and uh, just put some uh, gentle music playing whilst this is going on. Um, yeah, and I hope you enjoy it and uh, we'll uh, catch you again soon. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, like I say, if you uh, enjoy the video, give us a, 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 a like and a subscribe if you're not already subscribing. Um, like I say, uh, you know, it's it's a new channel, and it's just been I'm just documenting my journey. Um, I'm not trying to teach anyone, but you know, if this video helps um, someone one day transfer their six frames into their hive, then you know it's a good thing so again thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe thank you
the uh, the nuke in there, six frames, and uh, shoot the bees in. So now I'm just positioning the um, divider board, um, follower board, and um, you know, I actually had the, the queen excluded box. I'm not using that at the moment. It's, so as you can see, I've just pulled that one back out of the way now. Um, there's a, a light bit of smoke to clear the bees out. Um, just to push them all up together. And, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's the end of the uh, the brew chamber at the moment. So there's ten frames in there. And see how we get on with that before uh, putting the um, removing the the divider and putting the queen excluder in and giving us some frames to start storing some honey. observe without actually disturbing them and um, let the bees having to you know get getting out and in your face. Um, you can see there's there's four you know two on each side because it's obviously a double hive um, only, only occupying the one at the moment and you've got the vents in the top which uh, you'll see later. I uh, remove one of those to um, place a rapid feeder over the top. Uh, 15 minutes now since transferring the uh, nuke into the hive and um, just gone and filled up my uh, rapid feeder as you can see there um, it's, I think it's about two and a quarter litres there um, probably didn't fill it as full as I should so probably about two litres of one-to-one -one sugar syrup mix and um, yeah we'll see how we get on with that um, little tip I was sort of advised to do was just to dribble a little bit down through the middle so they know where to come and uh, yeah they didn't need no encouragement getting up into there um, I'll, I'll post a another video of another another time of the uh, of the bees uh, up in the feeder it's uh, quite interesting to watch how they will, uh, get up inside there um, a bit of OCD kicking in now, just making sure all the crown boards are nicely aligned and uh, that's some shut up and uh, yeah, okay, that's the uh, end of me talking, thank you.